What's up guys, Omni, and uh, apparently my son is joining me here for a little bit. You guys know the drill, it's a quickie. I actually woke up this morning with a few topics that I wanted to talk about, but then I realized there's so many things that's actually going down. So many small things that are going down that I, it might be a good day for a quickie. So today we're going to go over all of the small things that have been happening this week. Yesterday I tweeted, I'm awake and I see nothing to talk about. The upload streak is in danger. Uh, hit me with some quick top quickie topics. Hit me with some quickie topics for today's video. So let's scroll down and see what people had to say. A Jolly at Mac tweeted, what's your Spotify wrapped playlist? You know, actually a lot of people have been asking me about my Spotify wrapped playlist and I hate to break it to you, but my playlist is kind of warped because I go to sleep every night listening to lo-fi. It's this like playlist that plays. So my entire, it doesn't work. The numbers are skewed, okay? Because <laughs> since I spend hours and hours a day falling asleep to the exact same playlist in the exact same order, it doesn't work for me. I wish there was a way that you can like, you know, not include a certain playlist and then get the actual songs that you listen to, but you guys won't want to care. So just know that I listen to a lot of lo-fi when I go to sleep. And he's gone. Hot hand Sam tweeted, can you talk about Purple Emperor's thread on Stardew Leaf? I don't know what's happening there anymore. So guys, apparently, you know that video that I did about Animal Crossing, that girl who's wearing the space buns that people were like, no, it's the Afro pumps and it became this huge race issue. I haven't been following it too much, but apparently it's been turning into this crazy fiesta. Like Animal Crossing fans are going nuts and people are apparently are, are digging into this Stardew Leaf girl's past on her Twitter and, and are discovering that potentially she has like a racist past like how ironic would that be that that the person <laughs> we've all been saying that what she was doing is not racist and then we come to find out that she's just been throwing out the n-word with the with the er ending with the hard r like over and over so i, I don't know the details but i i can look at the thread there's a thread out there well damn apparently i can uh, apparently uh this account purple emperor had made this huge uh tweet thread basically exposing stardew this other girl named stardew who was the original space guns girl space buns girl uh for being racist <laughs> apparently she had like again i don't know the validity of it but apparently she had this list this thread that basically showcased that this space buns girl an account on instagram where she would just say the n-word uh there was a lot of hints of her basically being racist in the background apparently her boyfriend is anti-black lives matter or something like that i don't know but somebody came up with this huge laundry list that kind of uno reversed the whole thing on its head i can't speak to the validity of it but all i can say is jesus like i <laughs> i thought the smash community was crazy but like i guess all gaming communities bro animal crossing community i didn't know they went in this hard uh when it came to drama bro so it sucks because i love animal crossing and i love stardew uh valley valley those are those are very peaceful, relaxing games. So to see this much drama just coming from these gaming communities just makes me feel like some people just don't have too much. They have too much time on their hands and they just, they just like to fight, bro. Twitter's just a place where they just like, people just like to fight, man. Roger Rob Powell said, do you have any advice for aspiring content creators? Yes, uh, just get into it. Just do it. Just start, just go. Just <laughs> literally jump into it and just start creating the content that you feel like that's on your brain, that's on your mind. Like you know yourself better than anyone else. I think in the beginning of content creating, you kind of have to figure out the journey of what it is that you want to make, what it is that you're good at making, what strengths are, what your weaknesses are, et cetera, et cetera. It takes a while to find that journey to find out what it is that you want to be as a content creator. But then once you are in that place and you're aspiring and you're trying to be, just create and just go for it. It doesn't matter if it sucks because it will suck. But every time you keep making content, it'll get better and better every single day. Um, and then it will start turning into this thing where people actually start liking it and start watching it. And you just kind of go from there. So just jump into it, get into it. Don't try to spend all this time with, you know, paralysis analysis. Just just get your feet wet and make bad content <laughs> until the bad content is no longer bad. Bush Twins tweeted, Nintendo hackers getting jail. I heard a little bit about this, but I didn't go too much detail. Nintendo hacker who stole confidential information sentenced to three years in prison was also in possession of explicit videos and images of minors. Wow. Nah. Okay. 21 year old man named Ryan Hernandez has been sentenced to three years in prison for his computer hacking scheme and possession of child stuff found on his digital devices. In 2016, Hernandez used phishing techniques to steal the credentials of Nintendo employee, allowing him to leak information about the Switch prior to launch. What? A, ni <laughs> a Nintendo employee got hit with a phishing? Oh, dang. You hate to see it happen. When contacted by the FBI in 2017 while he was still a minor, he promised to stop any further malicious activity, noting how he understood the consequences if he repeated the action. However, he didn't take much notice of this warning and returned to leaking Nintendo secrets between June 2018 and June 2019. What the heck? Bro, he got contacted by the FBI and he thought it was a good idea to go... What? Bro, you're already on their list. Like, 
like what what world would that make sense to be on the fbi's list and go back to hacking <laughs> what the hell but like there is a certain level of stupidity that that cannot be you know breached like what the hell? During this time, he hacked multiple Nintendo servers, stole confidential information, and boasted online about his hacking exploits. When agents searched his home in June 2019, that's, that's, yeah, a little bit last year, they discovered thousands of confidential Nintendo files and more than 1,000 explicit videos and images. I mean, a, a, a thousand explicit videos and images? Was this all under, oh my god. God. In addition to serving three years, he has agreed to pay 260k in restitution to Nintendo. Following release from prison, oh my God, he will be required to complete seven years of supervised release and must register. Oh my God, bro, was it worth it? Was it worth it being that guy on 4chan saying, "Hey, uh, this is the games that are that leaked"? Like, <laughs> God, let this be a cautionary tale for you guys. Like, I, I just don't get it. What and why? Where's the payoff? Where's the benefit? You know, where does the reward come into place here, bro? Do you get a little bit of internet brownie points so that you can be like, hey guys, this is what the Nintendo Switch guys are doing and I hacked it and ha ha. I'm, I'm, people don't even know who I am, but I'm famous on the, like, what was the goal here, bro? Like he went from freaking just some kid who he got let off because he was a minor repeated it and now he owes nintendo 260k thousand dollars his entire life is ruined from this point like if i was that kid's parents i would i would man he done i'm just gone just leave him in <laughs> that's just some stupid shit right there and shamayan said talk about pokemane some more and i'm <laughs> so done with the pokemane drama bro. apparently like two days ago that meister came out with another document it was like 12 pages long. Him responding to Pokimane's 12 page document. Again, just like, <sighs> bro. Like I said before in another video, this whole thing feels like this. It feels like Game of Thrones. It feels like, you know, a season where I guess everyone was watching this show and it was good and juicy and there was a lot of popcorn. And then it just turned into this. It's just, and when it does end, like the, the drama is just become so stupid to the point where you're just like, you just don't care anymore. That's how I kind of feel. I just don't care anymore. I want Pokemane to go back to just playing games and being offline TV. And I want Fedmeister to just go away and stop making twit longers or stop, stop being on the internet, bro. Like go do your therapy, go do whatever it is that you need to do, bro. And, and he keeps saying that he's just going to leave and like mind his business. And then he just keeps coming back. And it's just like, choose one or the other. You are either going to be here and you're going to be present and you're going to be getting revenge or you're going to be trying to figure out, you know, clear your name or not. I'm tired of the drama. It's, it's not, it's not spice anymore. The tea is not hot anymore. It's, it's, I'm asleep. So Azillerate tweeted, regarding Nintendo slash Smash, it's a struggle when we are caught up between loving Nintendo's games and hating their business practices. How can we really incite change? It feels like no matter what, we eventually have to give up because we'll never persuade Nintendo. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't think we can. <laughs> Nintendo is a huge corporation making billions of dollars, bro. Like they, they make so much money, they print so much money, it's absolutely insane. The competitive Smash community is like a blip on their radar, okay? If, if anything, if they could choose to, they could probably, if they wanted something, they would probably get rid of us. Because the fact of the matter is that they don't need us, okay? We're not needed in order for their games to be successful. We're no longer a liability to their, their PR team because we no longer exist. So if they wanted to, they, they would just get rid of us. So I'm not sure what to say. I don't think we can change Nintendo's mind, especially since the people who, the corporation by Nintendo, like the people who make the Nintendo games and the developers are way different than the people who actually run the company. And the people who run the company have very old school mindsets. They're not the type of people who, who put themselves in the limelight, who have faces, who have names, who talk to the people, who address the people. They're not like new corporations. So sad to say, and I guess it's kind of negative of me, but I, I don't think there is going to be any change. If anything, I think there could be a negative impact. Nintendo might just basically tighten their claws even harder and basically try to remove Smash. That's what they could do if they wanted to. I fear that that might be the change that they go with, but I don't know, we'll see, so. Yeah. At some elf tweeted, Smash GG X Microsoft speculation might be interesting. So if you guys didn't know Smash GG, just as of yesterday, they tweeted, today we're excited to announce that Microsoft has acquired Smash.GG. With this acquisition, the Smash GG community and tournament organizers will continue to benefit from the Smash GG platform, while our team will now benefit from additional resources and support as part of the Microsoft Content Services team. For now, it's business as usual as our combined team continues to support our community and tournament organizers. We're excited about this acquisition's potential to further empower the esports 
Overlord's community and ex expand Smash GG's reach and scale. So it's kind of weird. I think a lot of people are putting the correlation that Microsoft is somehow supporting the Super Smash Brothers community more than Nintendo has. Uh, and that couldn't be further from the truth, okay? <laughs> Microsoft has no interest in Super Smash Brothers. This is not a, oh, let me let me help the Smash community thing. This It's nothing like that. Microsoft literally just wants the Smash GG's platforms for its esports potentials, okay? Smash GG, it was created from originally the Smash community, but it is now being broadcasted for an entire esports scene. I think what's happening is that like Smashers see the word Smash in it and they kind of correlate that with like, oh yeah, Microsoft now likes Smash, but <laughs> that's not the case. If Microsoft was in Nintendo's position, they would be doing the exact same thing to us that Nintendo has been doing to us. It's it, They're both huge mega corporations. Don't, don't, don't fall for anything. So yeah, I don't think this acquisition has anything to do with Super Smash Brothers at all. I think this is just really good for Smash GG and those guys that are working there and I'm pretty sure this just means it could mean something worse for Smash because now they're going to be phased into all type of games now it's going to be a huge esports realm and since esports Smash isn't working out it's probably just going to get a lot of attention from other games now but I don't know we'll see and Falco Lombardi said the Supergirl Kells incident I try to stay away from Smash drama now but apparently this one was kind of big for whatever reason I think Kells who's a Smash player or whatever she's a, she's a really great person but apparently you know she posted a, a a screenshot of a guy who was basically you know shooting their shot and said hey do you, you know do you have a boyfriend um the screenshot was pretty respectful it was kind of one of those things where you know how usually if a guy is interested they'll be like a uh, dick about it show a dick pic or be really rude apparently this guy just kind of like shot his shot but in a respectful way and she replied by screen capping the shot on twitter and basically putting him on blast which it brought up a lot of controversy i guess the question is is, is it okay for you to shoot your shot online to a girl that you don't know or maybe you kind of know and i think the answer to that is yes like i think everyone <laughs> i mean it's a pandemic i don't know how else you're going to shoot your shot same time i know there are a lot of women who get harassed constantly by guys who are in their dm spreading messages and harassing them essentially or targeting them it's just it's it's twofold so i mean how do you tell the fakes the, from the phonies from the real ones who are just trying to you know take a shot hard to tell especially when you get as many as many of these girls get on their dms long story short though supergirl kells posted this huge twit longer apologizing about the situation and basically saying sorry for basically you know putting the dude on blast i don't think this was necessary but yeah that's the incident i don't think anything bad happened i think she, you know she might have been having a bad day and then she put him on blast and then they got it fixed and remedy it's just just regular stuff that just became public knowledge because I don't know, whatever, I'm done with it. So St. Quinales tweeted, who would win a fight? 25th graders with knives or prime Muhammad Ali? Uh, the fifth graders have switchblades and are average weight slash height. Muhammad Ali is wearing boxing gloves. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's a question. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this is a really good question that is deserving of its own episode. I might just go ahead and just talk about this in just one video because there's a, there's a lot of there's a lot to take in here. 20 is a lot of people. 20 is a lot of people. 20 of anything, of people is a lot, even fifth graders. Even if they're average height and weight, and they have knives, bro. Like, but probably Muhammad Ali is fast, bro. So I feel like this is gonna require some more analysis. So if you guys want, let me know. But I'm thinking I might just turn this question to a video in itself. All right, guys, that's the end of today's quickies. If you guys enjoyed the video, do me a solid, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, okay? Today is December 3rd. We're trying to reach 200,000 subscribers by the end of this month, okay? <laughs> we couldn't do it by November, but we did pretty well. You know, we got some, some really good progress in November. So maybe in December, by the end of the year, by 2020, if we can hit 200,000 by the end of 2020, then we have reached our goal. So let's make it happen. So do me a solid, just 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 come through, man. Just come through. You can leave afterwards, okay? <laughs> but come through for now, all right? All right, man. I'll see you guys later. You guys have a good day. Stay hydrated and uh, take it easy.